Hello everybody um, and welcome to the uh, third and final day of our workshop. I hope uh, you've enjoyed the past couple of days. We've had some really um, informative and um, lively discussions and we're looking forward to our last day. Um, the first couple of days were we started with the, the challenge, looking at the challenge that we face. Uh, um, and then we had three uh, focused uh, discussion sessions on different uh, aspects of industry and how uh, decarbonization through electrification can impact them. And um, today, our day is focused on bringing everything together, um, looking at um, common problems and, and looking at ways we can uh, solve them, and then also looking at opportunities for academic research. So thank you for joining us for the uh, third day. Um, in the panel sessions, um, we're going to have uh, presenters present, and then we're going to have discussion, and then we're going to have a Q&A with uh, the audience. And when it comes to the questions, what we'd like you to do is submit those questions, if you have them, into chat. And the, the moderator will pick the most appropriate questions and then ask you, the questioner, to unmute yourself and ask the question live. Um, in the past couple of days, there's also been a bit of just where the moderator has just taken the question and sometimes the panelists have, have responded directly to the questions. So we're uh, flexible here, but that's really um, how we'd like to do it if we can. Um, just to mention, the event is being recorded. So when you logged on, you would have given your consent to the event being recorded and uh, videos and presentation slides will be um, will be available um, hopefully uh, on the uh, website a few weeks after the workshop. Um, just before we get started I did want to just go over what we got out of the first couple of days and uh, so this is just a recap of day one. I did show this at the end of day one um, as I said, we had um, two panels. We also had a keynote address from Professor Aron Majumda, um, giving the big picture. And um, I think the, the message that came out of that was really the scale of things, how big the scale was. And um, he gave a very good um, uh, sort of um, picture of that. And then uh, talked about the big three, iron and steel chemicals and, plas and uh, chemicals and plastics and cement. And, um, and then it, you know, it became clear that really a big portion of the CO2 emissions comes from heat generation. And I think we'll hear more about you know, potential solutions to that uh, today. Um, and we need to consider both short-term and long-term solutions. Um, so we also had a bit of a discussion about the collaboration that we should have between uh, academia and industry, how we should help entrepreneurs develop new technologies. And then an example at the end is, is with the mining industry of how much, you know, electricity could um, could be such a, how big of a component it could be in energy use, in crushing materials and so on and so forth. Um, the second day, we had uh, two sessions, um, one on chemicals and fuels and um, one on concrete and steel. Um, some of the things that that came out of it, I think, you know, we had a bit of discussion about CCS, carbon capture and storage, and that isn't the only solution, but it certainly is going to be part of the solution. Um, another a key, I think, theme that came out of it is that the need for a systems perspective on looking at this and we can try and um, try and if we look for solutions, um, just looking for a particular component in the solution in the system doesn't always work. We sometimes want to look at the whole system as a whole. Um, in the concrete and steel panel, I think there was uh, quite a bit on, on electric arc furnaces for steel production. I mean, that's actually, I think now 70% of, of the steel is now made using electric arc furnaces. So there's already a lot of electricity involved there. Um, and the point was made that cost is really um, the, a big challenge here, you know, there's a, only a small marginal cost. And so, uh, you know, adding extra t costs through new technologies, that's really, you know, you've got to consider that very carefully. 
and then a, a, the idea of a, a you know, credible, transparent accounting and regulatory system, uh, system is needed. So those were some of the themes that came out of the first couple of days. Um, today, what we're going to do, we're going to have uh, two panels. Um, the first one on common issues and potential solutions. And then, a, then we'll have a break and a second panel on opportunities for academic research. Afterwards, we'll have a feedback session in which we'll have like 20, 25 minutes for you to give your, you know, to just give us feedback on what you think about the, what came out of the meeting, any comments you want to make. And then um, we'll have another daily wrap up and um, some concluding remarks. And then we will um, finish off with networking. We've had this um, for the last uh, couple of days. We haven't had many takers, but if you want to have a private um, meeting with someone that you see from the people who are attending here, you can, we can set up a private breakout room at the end. All you have to do is, is, first of all, decide who you want in the group and make sure they're available and willing to meet with you. And then just uh, let Justin Warren know, either through the chat feature is the best way, and then he'll set up a breakout room at 12. 